The United Nations, which has warned of a humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, will convene a meeting today in Geneva to raise more than 600 million for the people of Afghanistan. Now, the world body has warned of a humanitarian catastrophe with the Taliban takeover in the country. Nearly half the population in Afghanistan has been dependent on foreign aid and even before the Taliban takeover, with over 40% of the country's GDP drawn from foreign funding. The United Nations is warned of an impending drought and shortage of cash and food resources as countries over the world announce that they will stop funding the country with the Taliban in power. We have permanent contacts. We will define at any moment what is the right level of these, taking into account all the aspects of the present situation. Um, the recognition of governments is not done by the Secretariat of the United Nations, as you know, is done by member states and is done by the bodies of, of the UN. Um, but we are permanently engaging with the Taliban and we believe that the dialogue with the Taliban is absolutely essential at the present moment. About one-third of the financial target is dedicated for the UN food program after it was found that 93% of Afghans are not consuming enough food. The World Health Organization, another UN agency that's part of the appeal, is seeking to shore up hundreds of health facilities at risk of closure and after donors backed out. Afghanistan is already one of the poorest nations with 72% living on no more than $1 a day. According to the UN Development Programme, this figure could soar to 97% by mid-2022 due to foreign money drying up and a severe COVID-19 outbreak. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres accepted the humanitarian organization is cash-strapped after several countries stopped the funding for Afghanistan. I think it is essential to find ways through some waivers or through some mechanisms. We managed in Yemen to, to uh, agree on some mechanisms that would allow to uh, inject some cash in the Afghan economy to avoid its meltdown. That, of course, doesn't mean recognition of anything, doesn't mean uh, any particular choice. Uh, it means finding ways, and my appeal has been to find ways to have uh, um, uh, sufficient, um, uh, uh, sufficient uh, injection uh, of cash to allow uh, to avoid a meltdown. And, and for instance, the UN at the present moment is not even able to pay its salaries to its own work. So, I mean, we need to find ways to avoid uh, a situation that would be catastrophic for the people and, in my opinion, a source of instability and uh, the, an excellent gift for terrorist groups still operating there. The meeting will be attended by top UN officials including Guterres and several humanitarian groups. Government representatives including German Foreign Minister Eko Maas is expected to be present at the meeting. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.